this video, I'm going to show you the best flooding concept out of the trips tight end formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at this game. So if you want to get better, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, I want to let you know that I am just, I'm talking about trips tight end because I just released my trips tight end offensive ebook. So if you haven't picked up the trips tight end offensive ebook yet, I would highly encourage you to do that. I'm going to put a link down in the description below. That ebook is on sale for just $15. Um, so you can get that down in the description. Now the play that we're going to be talking about in this video is we are going to be talking about the doubles in sale. I think the doubles in sale is one of the better plays in the game. Um, it's been one of the better plays in the game for a couple of years now. And I think it's really popular in Madden 19 and it's just continuing to stay firm as one of the best plays in trips tight end. So that being said, um, what we want to do, I'm in the New England playbook. You can also do this out of the uh, Detroit playbook. Those are both very good for trips tight end. But let's just dive into doubles and sales. So the setup is really, really simple. We're going to create a flood, but there's a couple of things we want to keep in mind. Who should you streak in the flood? Well, most of the time you're going to streak the outside receiver. But in this example, I want to suggest that you should streak the inside receiver. And the main reason why is because of how the defense is going to play whenever they run match. The match is certainly growing in popularity. I run it a lot. A lot of competitive players have started to run this a lot. And what you're going to see is if I am in match coverage, what we get is we get essentially man lock on the outside receiver. So what we can do is kind of manipulate that a little bit, and we can take the square receiver and put him on a five-yard out route, and then we can take that triangle receiver and put him on the vertical route. And the reason this is valuable is because now you're going to see you're going to get this mismatch on the match, and as you can see, Chris Godwin basically torches that coverage to the sideline. Now on the back side of this, what I personally like to do uh, a lot is to go ahead and just take the tight end and simply put him on a uh, delay drag route. And the reason I like the delay drag route is then I can take that running back and I can either block and release him, do whatever I want, but this is gonna give me really, really good protection and allow me the full measure of opportunity uh, to be able to read this flooding concept. Okay, so what you're gonna see is this is basically our setup and at the snap of the ball, if they're not playing hard flats, we'll just throw that five yard out route. And as you just saw, if they're not playing hard flats, um, you're going to get that press animation. Now, let me show you one other thing. So if I go to cover two, and let's say that I, um, let's say that I, you know, play cloud flat. Well, at the snap of the ball, they're gonna basically do a, go ahead and do a quick jam, and it's gonna keep those cloud flats from getting back on that player. I shaded up on those cloud flats, and as you saw, they did absolutely nothing for the defense. I'll show you again out of nickel three, three, five wide. It's a cloud flat. It's very obvious it's a cloud flat. That out route streak combo, because this is such a deep corner, um, you're gonna see here this little delay in the cloud flat. He's not gonna carry the vertical. As you can see now, that makes that so much more open. Now let me show you the inverse of that. So if I were to put the outside receiver on the fade and the triangle receiver on a flat, I wanna just show you how that works in regards to Tampa 2. So let me just show my play art. You're gonna see they are in cloud flats. If you watch this left side, this corner route is gonna be way less open as you can see, okay? And that is why I like to put the outside guy on a five yard out and then I'll either fade or streak the outside slot and then I basically run it like this. This is the best way in my opinion to run this because if they're just gonna sit you in Tampa two or cover, a lot of people like to run pinch two and just send five every play. This is pinch two and we just dotted it for 40 uh, or 35 yards. That's how good this concept is. And this concept, if you mix this in with everything else, the beauty of trips in, in my opinion is because it can attack every area of the field. That makes this freaking, that makes this offense so much better. So again, you can see here, this is match. As you see, he gets open, swerve catch up the field, do a journal, and you got a huge play, right? Huge play. So we showed cover two, cover three, cover four. Let me show you cover four drop real quick. Now, cover four drop, in my opinion, that's where I like to go ahead and fade um, that triangle receiver just so he gets a little bit more outside. But what you should see is he's going to, it's going to be a little closer um, against cover four drop. The biggest thing that I could say with cover four drop. Honestly, you can just hit your flat, by the way, too. But, you know, a lot of times, especially if they know what they're doing, they're going to hard flat. Um, 
you know, but then that's going to give that guy a lot more time to get vertical. And you see how much more he pulls him out of the way, and we can easily hit this, right? So if they jam that slot, dude, then what I want you to do is say, okay, they jammed me. It's a read. They jammed me on the outside, which means that throw to the out is wide open, and I'm going to take that for 10 to 15. This is going to get them to stop pressing you. They're going to be using zone drops or whatever, and they're not going to jam you. So then when they don't jam you, now he's got a lot of room to be able to see. If you get this, it's not as open. I mean, you can still hit it, but it's not, it's not as open as it was if he does not get jammed. If he does not get jammed, it is way more open. And obviously, if he does not get jammed, that quick out route is way more covered. So you see he takes the out. And now I go to the, cross, or the corner, and it's just a really, really good play. So I would really encourage you to start running this play. Um, this play is a lot better than people really treat it. Most people have kind of disregarded this play this year in trips, um, and I still think it's really, really, really good. So that being said, thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my trip side in ebook, there's a link in the description below. You can get the entire offense for just $15. I also want to quickly remind you about my Patreon. My Patreon is my basically the, the easiest thing that you could do to support me as a creator. It's $10 a month, and it basically gets you access to everything. You get access to every ebook, every exclusive tip. So far, we have 10 ebooks over there, um, three offensive ebooks, seven defensive ebooks, and we've got a lot more coming. So if you want to get access to all of that material, head over to the Patreon, sign up today for just $10 a month. And again, you can cancel it whenever you'd like. Um, but as soon as, you, uh, as soon as you pay that 10 bucks, you get access to everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.